Hey folks and welcome to another video from StarksWarehouse.com In this lesson we'll be covering the basics of um, sealing the foam using PVA glue um, foam brushes of course I am piece this just gives the um, actual suit or piece that you're working on a nice so soft and smooth finish and also makes it a bit more sturdy as well as I'm about to show you here, I've got the thigh. You can see this very well. Let's move the camera. Here I've got the th thigh piece, and you can see the shine on that compared to the helmet, which has not yet been done. And also gives it a bit of a more of a shell compared to a normal film. Okay. So let's get cracking. So here I have a PVA glue, which is a basic white wood glue from a local DIY store. It's PVA glue, it could be called wood glue. We use it at, kids use it at school, call it white glue, wood glue, um, PVA glue. Um, and I have just a cup that I have the PVA glue in. Nothing special. And I'm using these. I got these quite a while ago. Um, I actually bought them for when I was making the paper card pepper cura. And I thought I'd get these for use using the uh, fiberglass. Which I didn't realise then that foam brushes don't really react very good to uh, um, resin for the fiberglass. So they ended up melting, so I ended up using normal brushes. These are foam brushes brought from a local arts and crafts store. I got these quite a while ago, as I said. These was 149. They was on special. Should have been 249 for 20 brushes, so it's not too bad at all. And the thing about this is, because PVA and white glue is water soluble, you can actually wash these brushes out after you've used them and let them dry and reuse them again. So you get locked for your money. Okay. You can use um, normal brushes if you want. I just thought I'd use these because because of the brush they leave less of a brush mark in the glue. Now let's pour the PVA glue, glue straight from the bottle. Just want to dip in and get quite a decent amount of PVA glue. You don't want to make it give it too much. As you'll find out, because it, it will take a lot longer to dry than you expected. So you just want to take a decent amount and s spread it out quite a lot. Just brush it straight onto the foam. Now, if you do end up with a lot on your brush, like this, and you brush it on, as you'll see, it's going to go on really thick. You don't want to put it on like too thick, because as I said, it will take a long time to dry. So you just want to spread that out as far as you can without not giving the foam anything to, any glue to thicken it and coat it as you say. So just spread it on with a generous amount I'd say but not over generous. Basically give this the entire coat all the way around in any gaps, any just all over basically. Give it a nice coat all over. And this will probably need, well, on mine, um, I gave mine about five or six coats. You don't have to give it that much. I just did that because it did give it a really nice solid coat. Um, like on the biceps, which I'll show you. Give the biceps a really nice. solid coat 
so I like to give them give them a lot. Oops. Get my camera stand back in. But like I say, you don't need to give them that many coats if you don't want to. You probably only need three, four coats um, to seal the actual foam. But if you want to give it more, then there's no harm in that either. Just make sure it spreads around pretty nice. And obviously, like I said, don't give it too much, because if you give it too much as well, PVA glue does run. Um, so it might end up leaving blobs, like at a certain point, like if it ran down the side, for instance, leaving a blob of glue. And obviously that's not good, because you don't want that on your suit. So I'll finish the rest of this off, doing exactly the same as what I'm doing now, just loading my brush with PVA glue, spreading it onto the helmet, spreading it out, but still leaving a decent, generous amount onto the helmet. So I'll go for, go ahead and finish the rest of the helmet, and I'll come back to you when I finished.